welcome to the Critical Cudus on the Monk, and today we are in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So I've literally just picked this game up, and I figured I would do a very, very brief little gameplay, first impressions, whatever you have used. Uh, just wanted to show you guys that I am on this game. It's something that I'm going to be doing, and uh, hopefully we can get out a review on it soon, and uh, maybe some more videos as well. It's a game that... I'm looking to definitely dive into and hopefully make the most out of. It's um, a game that I've been looking forward to all year. I actually played the last um, two Assassin's Creed's and uh, I really enjoyed them as well. So I'm hoping more of the same. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can have a lot of fun doing it. Oh, hello. Already you can tell it's an Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> yeah, you can kill the crows. Very nice. Camera's a bit... Uh dodgy nothing in them though yeah so basically we just went through the little uh opening scene when you're a kid um i've actually haven't picked to be the female character what i've done is that this game actually gives you the options unlike the previous assassin's um creed games where you can um, you can actually play both at the same time, so your play as the story actually recommends you. Which I thought was pretty cool. So the story will recommend you playing as a certain character. And uh, yeah, you'll swap and change after that. Like I said, I thought that was a pretty cool... Uh, got an arrow back. Collect some food. Because I think last time uh, I picked, uh, in the last Assassin's Creed I played, I picked the male and I kind of regretted it and wanted to go back and do the female uh, playthrough. But this way you kind of get to do both. So, like I said, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, we've got different types of arrows. Now in there. Uh Nope, nope. So something else that I realized at the beginning of the game, you actually get an option to play um, on Pathfinder mode, which basically allows you very, very minimal HUD. And uh, obviously it's going to make the game a lot more immersive. Now, I didn't pick that right now. Uh, mainly because I want to get a feel for the game first. Um, but it's something that I'm tempted to go back over, you know, recomplete, for instance. On that difficulty, I think it could be quite cool. Now, I also have to say <laughs> that I'm going to try and not be too annoyed at this game because you know, I'm kind of a history buff. And uh, this game is set in an era in history which I know a lot about. So um, I'm going to try not to be too critical. But I'm excited. The uh, Dark Ages and English history was pretty exciting. A lot of cool stuff happened. What do we get? We actually got something from a box. We got some silver. And we got a little note. Ooh. May use others for the blood sacrifice. Very interesting. Yeah, we got some leather and some iron. I think there's anything else in here.
I like the snow. I wonder if we get any snow this year, eh? I am uh, from England, so we very rarely get snow in the south. It's kind of annoying. But I've got to say, at the moment, I'm really liking this game. The mechanics feel very, very uh, familiar. I feel like it's definitely an Assassin's Creed game. I don't know how much of the old... Uh, uh, you know, I don't really know how much of the old Assassin's Creed is going to be in this. I heard that you can assassinate pretty much anyone in this game. Um, I don't know if that's true. I guess we will find out as we play. Let's see if we can make our way up here. And do the old. Let's have a little look, see what we got. I find it interesting how we've got a crow this time instead of the eagle. Of course, the, uh, the Vikings were known for using the crows. So I think that's that's quite fitting. The game looks good, though. I'm definitely excited to get into this. Oh, and we can jump. What, we're going to jump into... Into the water. Okie dokie. Okay, we are freezing. Little bit cold. To be fair, she probably would be absolutely bloody freezing right now, up in the mountains, in the snow, and she's wearing... Woo. What is she wearing? I don't know. Some cloth? Not much. Five hundred meters away from that. Anything else in the area? Yeah, I don't think so. Ooh, have I been here? This is the one I've been to. There's me getting all excited. I was like, oh, something new. There's a ship down there. Hello, hello. A little bit of food, maybe? Maybe, maybe. I do not know. Well, we're getting closer to something. Odin's side doesn't really last very long, does it? I guess it kind of sweeps the area, maybe? Well, okie dokie. Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here, to be fair. Um, I'm gonna, this was just like a taster, just so you could see some little bit of a gameplay. See that I'm actually playing this game. I will be reviewing it. There's going to be a lot of videos on this game, fingers crossed. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know and show you guys that I am 100% doing this game. You can expect a lot of um, footage on this game coming from me and from the channel. So don't forget, guys, to hit that like button and to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out on more Assassin's Creed content. It's not going to be just like this. It is going to be, obviously, reviews and tips and gameplay and this, that, and the other. But anyway, I've been a monk. We've been a Critically Hulus. And I'll catch you guys really, really soon uh, for the review, hopefully. So see you later.